And now, with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row, meteorologist Jeff Andrews. Well, nice sunset this afternoon for Oshkosh. A little more sun uh, south of the Fox Valley, really, uh, as we went through the afternoon. A little more than we had in Green Bay. Set to 31 degrees right now. The Storm Team 5 Sky View is powered by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. It's 31 in Oshkosh. Uh, Green Bay right now, 31. You know, the bridge looks nice tonight. Uh, the winds are going to calm, by the way. Appleton, it's at 27 degrees. See a little blue sky there as well. All right, you've no, um, I've noticed a little more clearing over the last couple hours or so, but still there's some cloud cover. It's going to be clearing additionally. The winds are going to calm later. Rainy with flooding potential over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I'll show you specifically in just a second here. We could get some snow also as we get into Monday, all right? There's a flood wash in place. All this area in green here, the river's the biggest concern right now. The level is already high, the melting snow, and uh, the heavy rain that we're expecting. This goes through Monday morning, 6 o'clock. Uh, right now we have 31, the wind's west 12 miles an hour, so you get a wind chill. It takes us down about 10 degrees or so. Here's how the evening goes. The winds kind of shift a bit. They'll be lighter out of the southwest, and then we drop back into the 20s. As we head towards tomorrow morning, here's where we're, we're bottom, about 24 for Green Bay. Algoma 27, Sturgeon Bay about 26. Also in the 20s as you go further west as well. Highs tomorrow pretty close to 40 for most spots. See Algoma 38, Manitowoc, Sheboygan, Green Bay also with highs of 39. Now as far as the wind gusts, we're going to really notice it tomorrow afternoon as the uh, next system kind of makes its appearance. We're seeing the wind shifting out of the east into the teens. All right, they pick up. This is Saturday night around 10 o'clock. We're seeing gusts in the 20 to 25 mile an hour range. Same situation as we get into Sunday morning. Even stronger, the model's showing some spots here in the low 30s. We'll see if it gets that gusty. It'll get better in the afternoon on Sunday. All right, now as far as our cloud cover tonight, you see we clear off a bit. The clouds here and there passing, but the point is here tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, you see what's coming from the west. As we get towards the noon hour, this is what we're seeing. It looks like a wintry mix as we get into the early afternoon hours for a tomorrow. 4 o'clock, here's where the line is right here at that point. Obviously, you know, it's going to shift a little bit, but you can see it becomes more widespread. Here's tomorrow night, 11 o'clock. This is moderate rainfall we're seeing here with this band that's coming, that's going to be passing on the overnight for us here in the Green Bay, Fox Valley area. We get into Sunday morning. I'd say the majority of that first wave kind of passes by, but that's not it. The showers linger. We get into Sunday night, and there's the next go around. All right, and you see that cyclonic flow there spins its way out as we get towards Monday morning. Then we have the chance of seeing some light snow as we get into Monday. As far as the rainfall, the precipitation adding up in liquid form, the purple here, that's about two and a half inches of rain, inch and a half to two and a half, potentially by the uh, early part of Monday. All right, your temperature trend here, not too bad for a few days, but when we drop back, and really when you look at it as we roll into 2020, above average by like 10 degrees. For tonight, probably cloudy. Less as far as the wind, 24 for Green Bay in the Fox Valley overnight, Lakeshore about 27. Tomorrow the rain more prevalent in the afternoon hours. Might have a wintry mix earlier, pretty close to 40 for the high. Here's your planner, Robin, and you can get your forecast anytime too. We have the app to search for Storm Team 5. The wet weekend, we have the flooding concerns, and uh, then uh, there's no chances we get into Monday. So we're seeing some precipitation here as we go forward. Definitely a mixed yeah, that's bag of weather that. we have coming up the next oh, yeah. week. Keeping you busy. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jeff.